There's a park in Denton, just off the square, that's a tribute to some very brave women. Brave because they led the charge to change the way people in Denton County lived. And at the center of this group is Pat Cheek. We started meeting in homes, always moving in the black neighborhood and then the next month in the white neighborhood. We, just, we, we didn't give up. We had little posters that we took with us and put them on our checks or where we went. It says all people should be able to live where they want to live without regard to race or anything like that. Well, it was just an important thing. I worked for all my life, even when I was a kid. I wanted people to get along and be, be racially blended. That was a radical thought when Pat and the women in the Denton Women's Interracial Fellowship started their charge to desegregate Denton County in the 1960s. But even they may have a hard time believing just how well their plan worked. Our schools are a tribute to the work Pat and her friends put in seven decades ago. Every day, kids from different backgrounds learn, eat, and play together. And nowhere is that more evident than the school that bears her name. I think it's a really beautiful thing that we've been named after Pat Cheek and for what she stands for and for our like community here. I think it's a really beautiful thing to see all different types of students working, learning here, and to have it named after such a an instrumental person in Denton ISD is awesome. Here it's just a lot of different people that I've never met, so I get to act like myself so that I can make a good impression on them. I didn't have to like change myself to fit in with anybody, I just was me. It lets you be more comfortable knowing that everyone here is different and they all come from different backgrounds. If you're looking for a friend, it's easier here. That vibe of inclusion can be felt everywhere you turn at Pat Cheek Middle School. It's literally built into the building. There are plenty of spaces to stretch out here and plenty of places for these kids to learn the way they learn best. Not every student learns best in a, in a sitting in a chair at a desk, but they might learn better out here on the couch or in the pod or bringing our class outside to the courtyard or sending a student out to calm down a little bit out here. So it's really awesome to have a variety of different spaces to utilize um, and to make sure our students are learning the best way they can. It allows us to be more, um, not like be restricted or constrained to the classroom, you know, and you can maybe like feel better working outside instead of having to be confined to like a small space. It makes like coming to school and waking up in the morning easier because we know we're not just going to be cooped up in a classroom. We, we know that we'll be able to have a little bit of free range and uh, learn how we want to. Learning is the most important thing in this building now. The thing that used to dominate so many thoughts during Pat's younger days is now an afterthought in the building that's named for her. Well, it feels real good. <laughs> I mean, I think I know I helped that.